Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about how to overcome fear of going to the dentist, dental anxiety and dental phobia. I just wanna start by saying that your feelings are valid. If you clicked on this video because you're stressed about going to the dentist, don't be hard on yourself. And also don't worry or compare if you're fearful about a teeth cleaning, sometimes commonly referred to as a simple procedure, or if you're stressed about a super involved dental procedure, like a dental surgery. Whatever you are nervous about, it is valid. There could be multiple reasons why you are feeling this fear of the dentist. It could be from past trauma. Maybe something happened when you were a kid and it's stuck in your mind. It could be hearing about someone else's bad experience. You're afraid it's going to happen to you. Or maybe even your parents put this thought into your mind accidentally when you were a kid. Or maybe it's just the dental office environment in general. The sounds of the dental drills sometimes can make people feel uneasy because of the unknown. Whatever the case, let's talk about some strategies and ways to make it better. But first, I want to state my disclaimer, I am in no way a mental health professional, I am a dental health professional, and this video is based on my experiences helping my patients cope when they are nervous about being at the dentist. So please know this video does not replace the advice from a licensed therapist who treats anxiety. Now, there are different levels of anxiety with anything, there's always different levels. Some patients cannot step foot into a dental office. They are not yet ready to take that step. If this is you, I strongly encourage you to make an appointment with a therapist to treat anxiety. That is a good, solid starting point. Now, if you are someone who is able to force yourself to go to your dental appointments, but you still get nervous each time, you should still consider talking to a therapist about it. They will have much better advice than me. But regardless, if this is you, here is my advice as a dental hygienist. I recommend and have found the best results in helping anxious anxious patients through their appointments is by encouraging them to always be honest and express their concerns beforehand. This way, us dental providers can better accommodate you and make you comfortable. If you know the cause of your stress, tell your clinician exactly where your stress is coming from in advance. This way, the dental provider is aware and can prepare things that can accommodate your needs in advance and make you more comfortable throughout your appointment. If I were your hygienist and you informed me about your fear, I can definitely help you through it. Whereas if I didn't know about it, then I wouldn't know how to help. If you told me, say, you're nervous about pain, are you nervous in general that something might hurt? Or is there a specific tooth that is always giving you pain and you're worried I'm going to touch it and make it worse? If so, let's find which tooth it is so I can be super gentle around the area. And maybe we'll take an x-ray of that tooth before you're cleaning to see what's going on. Or are all of your teeth sensitive? If so, let's figure out why they are sensitive and then we'll give you recommendations on how to reduce the sensitivity. We will figure it out together. There are so many options in dentistry and there is not a one size fits all answer, but communicating, communicating our needs and expectations can often help ease your anxiety at the dentist. We dental providers, we want you to have a good dental appointment and we want you to want to come back to continue your care. There is no judgment. We are here to support you while maintaining the health of your gums and the health of your teeth. So figuring out what makes you nervous at the dentist is something that's always good to start thinking about in advance. It's okay to say everything, but it really helps if you can narrow it down to something specific, such as, is it from past experience? If so, we can work to slowly gain your trust and prove to you that one bad experience will not define all of your experiences. We are patient and we are willing to take baby steps and do whatever you're comfortable with when you're ready. Unfortunately, trauma, from childhood bad dental experiences is a real thing, but there are definite ways to overcome it. Is it because of one specific thing going on recently that has you stressed? For example, I had a patient once who recently had thyroid surgery and they were nervous if our x-ray apron had a lead collar attached to it or not. They said they worked themselves up all morning trying to decide how they would decline x-rays if our lead apron didn't have the collar. In this example, I would have recommended the patient to call ahead and ask, we could have got rid of so much unnecessary stress by simply calling ahead and asking. We do have the lead collar and the patient was so relieved when I told them that. And I remember they said something like, oh good, now I'll be able to relax for the rest of my appointment. 
Is it the noises? Sometimes if you bring headphones, that can help drown out the noises if they bother you. Or maybe you're someone who wants your dental provider to talk to you during the appointment. You want to be distracted from what's going on. If so, that's cool, just ask. I'll tell you a story, I'll tell you a bunch of stories. Or maybe you want to know exactly what's going on in your mouth. That works too, I'd be happy to tell you about each scalar I'm using and which tooth benefits from what type of scalar. Or maybe you want silence. You want to meditate and do your own thing, like focusing on breath techniques. Maybe that's you, maybe not. Either way, just tell us what works for you and we'll accommodate you. Again, we want you to be comfortable and we want to support you with what you need to achieve comfort. And if you have no idea, you're not sure which method is going to make you comfortable, that's okay too. We can try them all and find out which one works best. Another dental stress that I've had lots of patients tell me about is that they are nervous about what I might find in their mouth. So some patients are not worried about the cleaning itself, not worried about what they are there for in the moment. They aren't worried about the noises and they don't have any past traumas, but they do not want to hear if they need any future work done on their teeth such as cavity fillings, for example. In this case, let me know how you want me to handle it if I do find something. Do you not want it mentioned until the end of your appointment? Or do you want to know right away? We do have to legally tell you if we see a cavity or something abnormal in your mouth, but it's up to you to choose at what point in your appointment that you plan to be mentally prepared to hear it. Again, it's okay if you have no idea what bothers you at the dentist. You get nervous and you're not sure why, that is okay. But if you can think about it, think about those examples I just gave and try to determine determine if any of those ring true to you. If so, mention it to your dental provider. Having someone work in your mouth can seem very intrusive. And on top of that, a lot of people have trust issues for many different reasons. Us dental people do not take it personally if you don't like us right away. We totally understand and we're completely willing to work with you. We want what's best for you. That's why we chose the healthcare profession. But if for some reason you're getting the vibe that your dental providers are not genuine, maybe you're at a dental office that is not the right fit for you. And that that's okay too. Finding the right dental office is sometimes like dating. Your first choice you found online looked great online, but maybe you weren't feeling their vibe when you met them. If so, I do have a video called How to Find a Good Dentist, which I will link in the bottom bar below if you're interested in learning more. But truly, some offices offer therapy animals, some offer nitrous oxide, and some offices are simply a genuine, kind, non-judgmental group of professionals that will suit your needs. Whatever you're looking for in a dental office, be sure to ask about it when you schedule your appointment, when you're trying to find the right dental office for you. It can't hurt to say right away, hello, what do you offer for your dental patients who are anxious? Flat out say, I get nervous at the dentist. How can you help me? That is so open, great communication, great place to start. Okay, I have two more things before we go that I'd like to share with you that I learned while making dental videos here online. One is that some viewers have told me in the comments that my dental procedure videos have reduced their dental fear because being exposed to seeing what's going on in the mouth during certain dental procedures has benefited them. I've seen comments that say things like, I forced myself to watch this and now I feel more prepared for my appointment today. And that is so great because I never even realized how these procedural videos could help patients. I always thought those videos would be more for dental people who like watching teeth be drilled, you know? But I learned that the exposure, seeing the unknown, can sometimes help you feel better. And the second amazing thing that I want to personally share are the comment threads on some of these videos. You all help each other out and give each other words of wisdom and are rooting for each other and saying not to worry. I've seen the comment threads, starting with things like, I'm at the dentist right now, about to get a filling. I'm nervous, help. And everyone starts replying, good luck, you got this. Or I just had one, it wasn't that bad at all. That is so nice and please keep it up. I am honored to be part of this Teeth Talk community, a community of people raising each other up and helping each other get past their fears. And those comments have inspired me to make this video in hopes that I could raise you up too. We all have the opportunity to overcome our fears and sometimes watching videos, exposing yourself to something you are scared of can be great and benefit you. Or maybe not, maybe you're not ready for that yet. You will be soon, but maybe first you need to talk to somebody about it. You do you, and when you're ready, we dental professionals will be here, ready to take care of you and your dental health. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. I feel so passionate right now. If you want to learn more about dental health, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, where I have more articles and videos about healthy mouths and healthy teeth. And until next time, peace, love, and teeth.